In the introductory video, we discussed the objectives of the chapter Po Champalli. Now, in this session, we will begin implementing the zero investment innovative idea of making things using available resources to build the concept of different occupations in the local region. This will be done by engaging students in a mat weaving activity. And for this, we will need to arrange four bundles of straw or any long variety of dry grass of equal length. Also, we need to arrange for a video on the topic of Pochampalli sari making. Start the class by informing the students that they will be making a mat in the class. Commence the activity by dividing the class into four groups and giving a bundle of straws to each group. Working in groups will aid in developing students' effective communication, cooperation and interpersonal skills. Demonstrate the procedure to make a mat using the following steps. First, spread 20 straws parallel to each other in a vertical line, leaving a 1 inch gap between the straws. Then, take one straw perpendicular to the 20 straws at one end of the parallel straws and weave it through the 20 straws. Pass the first horizontal straw below the first vertical straw and over the second vertical straw. Repeat the alternating pattern for the rest of the straws. Allow the students some time to attempt to finish making the mats. This activity will inculcate creative thinking skill among the students. Once the students are done making the mats, initiate a discussion by asking questions such as can you name any other objects which are created by weaving? The possible responses would be baskets, sari, carpet and so on. Ask the students, do you know anyone who makes baskets, saris and carpets? We may get a mixed response. Thinking upon responses for questions like these, will enhance students' critical thinking skills. Conclude by stating that weaving is an art in itself and many different occupations are based out of weaving, especially sari making. In the next session, we are going to learn about the special silk saris from Pochampalli.